Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Pig. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about three things, combining, splitting, and sorting. So under this topic, I'll be covering up total four operators uh, with the likes of union, split, order by, and limit. So guys, let's start with the first operator called union. Union operator, guys, it's not a new operator for us because I guess we all have studied under this SQL, right? So union means we, if you want to merge the contents of two relations, guys, we all know that in the case of Apache Pick, we usually talk in the terms of relation, like we have a tables in RDBMS. So if you want to merge the contents of two relations, then we can make use of union. Make sure when you use the union, the schema of the two relations should be same. Then only we can merge the contents, right? So the syntax of union operator is as follows. Union space relation one comma relation two, right? First of all, I'll be covering up the contents uh, verbally like this, and then I'll be showing you the implementation part. So let's uh, continue with this. Second operator we got as split operator split operator meaning is like if you want to decompose your relation into two or more relations we can make use of split so let's suppose if we have a big table available i want to divide this table contents into two or more parts so i can make use of split right so the split operator syntax is quite simple split space relation name the master table which you want to uh, divide or decompose into relation one name the new relation which will be created automatically if space condition on on basis of which condition you want to divide right second comma relation to second relation space if condition again you need to specify that if this, this condition uh, satisfy like uh, create this table this relation if that condition satisfy create that relation right so this is the syntax of split operator the third operator for today is it's called order by order by meaning is like if you want to arrange your contents in ascending or descending order you can make use of order by again it remind us uh, from of sql's order by like we use order by uh, already in sql to arrange or to sort the contents right so it's have a similar meaning so the syntax is order space relation name right uh, space by space asc asc stand for ascending desc desc stand for descending last one is limit operator limit means like if you want to print a specific set of tuples okay form your relation then you can go with the limit so limit space relation name space required number of tuples required number of tuples means if you want to display only three then write three here if you want to restrict to four it will be four here so these are the four operators uh, which uh, i'll be now showing you their implementation so let's start with the first uh, operator implementation union operator for union operator guys i'll be using these two files as my uh, as the content of uh, two relations the first file is containing this data simple uh, data uh, it's have three fields one comma a b comma de Villiers. this is how we uh, it has to be interpreted so we are having three fields available maybe we can relate it like id comma first name comma last name so we are having total six contents in the six tuples uh, in the relation one and similarly for relation two uh, file i'm having two contents so i'll be merging it uh, in one file using union okay into one relation using union so let's start with this i've already have opened up my pig grunt shell you can see i have opened up in local mode with the pig space hyphen x space local command let's start guys so first of all let's create two relations so um, i'm keeping it as q1 okay so we know the syntax load uh, the both the files are available on my home location home amrit uh, the first file name is union one dot txt using is a keyword pick storage which is the default store uh, load function pick storage we need to specify uh, the uh, delimiter which is comma as you can you have already seen in the file then we have to give as then give the three uh, column information the first column i'm keeping it as id of type integer second is first name of type care array right so uh, the third one is l name means last name of type care array so this we all know as uh, i've already have uh, made some videos earlier on the peg so you know how to create a relation right so this is my first relation q1 is already done i got my grunt shell back 
so similarly for second uh, relation uh, i'll be going with the uh, like same syntax so i'm just be changing the q1 to q2 union 1 to union 2 right as i've already have said we need to have same schema so i'm not changing any schema here so it, is, it will be the same one so we need to press enter so we got two uh, relations already ready let's see like uh, if it's uh, available or not we can check out with the dump keyword so we all know that to print the contents or to print the output of the relation we are having dump keyword available dump space q1 it should give me the uh, contents of q1 let's see are we getting uh, the the contents yes we are getting you can see at the bottom of the screen we got all these six tuples uh, available here right so it means everything is going well so if i just uh, check out for uh, dump q2 let's see that uh, whether i'm getting yeah i'm getting you can see at the bottom i got two records printed right so it means everything is going well so let's uh, apply the union now for union i've already have shown you the syntax so I'm keeping Q3 as my final relation, which will be the uh, con which will be contain the merge uh, merging of both the relations, right? So union space Q1 comma Q2. That's it, guys. So uh, this is the simple syntax uh, that we need to follow. Uh, yeah, we we got my uh, we got our grunt shell back. So let's uh, try to dump Q3 now, uh, which should contain the uh, like uh, union of both the relations, right? Let's see. So you can see now I got all the eight records printed here. So this is the uh, this is due to the uh, presence of union, right? So I hope uh, the first point is fine. Second point is now split operator. For split operator, guys, I'll be using uh, the data set which is split. Uh, I can show you. This is the data set. Actually, this data set is inspired from the uh, T20I uh, rankings, right? So we got top ten players of today uh, in the world starting from david milan with the ratings 805 so this is how we need to interpret we have the uh, ranking one uh, then player name then the ratings okay so this is the the schema we i'll be following let's create a new relation okay uh, with the name we can say maybe uh, rank okay so load we need to load this it's available again in my home location so guys uh, again i'm uh, stressing on this point like uh, I'm, I'm, I have opened up my uh, pig in the local mode, right? So I'm expecting the data is coming from the local file system, not from SDFS. So that's why uh, I'm using this uh, this uh, path, right? So it is split dot txt, okay? Then using keyword, then pig storage, okay? Pig storage, delimiter is again comma. You have seen. Then as. We need to specify three column names. The first column name, I'm keeping it as rank of type integer. Then we are having the name, the uh, player of type char array. All right, the third one is rating of type integer again. So we got three columns or three fields available. So with this, I got my uh, rank relation created. So let's apply split operator. It's very simple, split keyword i can show you the syntax again so it is split space the major relation the main relation which is my rank rank into uh, rank one maybe okay if condition if condition is like i'm putting the condition on the uh, rank as the column name the first column the ranking so if the rank is less than equal to five then uh, it should be going to the one relation uh, the first relation which is rank one okay otherwise what happened it will go to the rank two mind you guys rank one and rank two are not available in prior okay they'll be automatically created so rank two if the rank is greater than five okay that's it let's see so we got my uh, we got our grunt shell back so let's see if we got two uh, relations or not rank one and rank two so i'm dumping rank one we got till five till rahul kl rahul so we got, we got first five records uh, as expected let's now try to dump rank two as well so we'll be getting the last five which is uh, starting from aaron finch then devon convoy Josh Butler, RVD from South Africa, and Martin Guptill. So we got all the uh, rest of these five records as a part of second relation. I hope it's fine. 
guys the third one is order by order by is quite simple uh, i'll be using order by on this rank only because we got uh, uh, the rankings available and it's already in ascending order so we try to print in a descending order so let's see okay so i'm going with the new relation name maybe w equal to order rank by uh, it is rank desc okay so dump i'm dumping now w so you can see now i got my uh, data sorted in the descending order right so this is called order by so we are left with only one thing which is called limit again limit is quite simple operator so let's suppose i'm creating a new relation with the name e so i'm keeping limit relation name rank okay i'm just want to print only four records let's see so dumping e let's see what happens so you can see i got my top four records available david malan adin markham Babar Azam and Mohammad Rizwan, right? So I hope, guys, uh, like all the four operators, it's clear. In case if you have any issue with the video or if you're not not able to understand any of the content, kindly comment, right? Thanks, thank you for watching, guys.